The word dynamics refers to the loudness or softness of music. Composers put little words, oftentimes little Italian words and symbols, on the music to tell us how loud or soft to play. Why Italian? Well, history. Anyways, we call these dynamic terms or musical terms, the most important of which are piano and forte. Piano means play softly or quietly, whereas forte means to play loudly. If we double up the letters, we get pianissimo and fortissimo. Double the letters and you double the effect. Pianissimo means to play very soft and fortissimo means to play very loud. If we tack on an M, we get mezzo piano and mezzo forte. Play moderately soft and moderately loud. Think M for mezzo and M for moderately. And there you have it, in order of softest to loudest, we have pianissimo, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte and fortissimo. At this stage, I'd like to point out that this thing isn't really called a piano. That's just its nickname. Its proper name is the piano forte. Given our newly acquired knowledge of dynamics, any ideas as to why it was given that name? Now, jumping from piano to forte produces a cool effect. But like sometimes a gradual change in volume is needed. A gradual increase in volume over time is called a crescendo, notated like this or this. And a gradual decrease in volume over time is called a decrescendo or diminuendo, notated like this or this. However, the hairpins are generally used for dynamic changes over a short period of time. A couple of bars, tops. Whereas the abbreviations are used for changes over much longer periods. Regardless, all dynamic markings usually go below the stave. Unless you're dealing with choral music, in which case they go above the stave. Gotta have room for those lyrics, you know? Oh, and piano music has dynamics in between the staves of the grand staff. And that is literally all there is to it. Dynamics 101, done. Music quiz. So here's a short tune. Dynamically speaking, let me know in the comments below what you think is going on. Happy music theory, everyone.